Hi, my name is Laura Pacheco and I'm going to present my communication for our team Congress. Uh, it's education through organizations with a purpose in social networks. Nowadays, the objective of many organizations which have a positive impact in society go beyond economic benefits as they pursue to achieve a global well-being. In this sense, education is a key tool to make real some of the business purposes that of many organizations. Organizations uh, have uh, many ways to connect with their publics, like social networks. Brands uh, can reach directly uh, to the publics, communicate, promote, chat, or why not educate them. Education is a part of the valuable management of intangible assets, which organizations from 21st century deal with to consolidate the relationship with their publics. Since it is the land of intangible assets uh, where business institutions and countries really compete nowadays. Education has become an essential pillar to generate talent inside and outside the companies. And social networks have become an ideal tool for the transmission of information to reach the public and consolidate a community. Nowadays, social, economical and environment factors have changed to the form of acts of many organizations. In this paradigm, we lift the peak of a concept increasingly used in business communication, the purpose. A why for what? which makes reference to the same of existence of an organization. In this sense, education has become relevant inside the organization, becoming a key pillar to make an impact and exercise a positive influence on their teamwork as well as, as on society. It's relevant this phrase uh, would say, Today, we expect from organizations a leadership with purpose and a corporate responsibility which adapts uh, to the rules and constant changes which 21st century societies is, is experiencing. We ask businesses to be collaborative, transversal, and that they integrate a social environment impact which generates a value in the business patterns. Education has become a key to tool to make it possible. And to be able to communicate its campaigns and establish a trustful and relational relationship with stakeholders, business count on and use its all social networks. It's a key element in our daily lives nowadays, which makes them the perfect stage for brands to connect to their publics. About methodology, in this research project, it will be a study to use which is done by selected companies of their social network as solved for knowledge transmissions. It has been monitored and analysis of content along the month of May 2022 of the following brands, Mafre, CaixaBank, Telefónica, Acciona, Repsol and De Gaube. This recognition uh, makes these brands examples of responsible and positive organizations for society, being named in numerous congresses or becoming successful case studies. Through the analysis of content of every post generated in their Instagram feed in each organization during the month of May 2022, we obtained results uh, which get us closer to the role played by companies as generators of knowledge, uh, teaching society and making a positive impact in it. Regarding the number of contents generated during the month, we are certain an imbalance between companies. Telefonica stand out, uh, generating 30 contents a month in their feed, what means a daily and constant work from the organizations. Right in the contrary situation, we find Resolve Repsol with only uh, 10 contents generated during the month. Hereafter, uh, we will classify the type of contents created by the different organizations used as a simple in this research during the month of May 2022. Telefonica is the organization that assigns more posts to education with a total of 14 publications in their feed during the month of May. Repsol is the organization which shares less posts uh, related to knowledge only for during the selected month. Among the different profiles, we can highlight Telefonica, Mafra Spain, Acciona, as they are the ones who share more divulgative content during a month. Here uh, we have uh, examples of Mafra or Acciona. Finally, we extract these conclusions of these investigations. On the first hand, we have a brand with purpose. It stands out the evolution that has suffered communication inside a high number of organizations, giving aside the exclusive orientation towards the selling of products to involve into a content hub that interests in the rights and connect with the publics. It's appreciated in their social networks. Uh, we have inequality in content too, like uh, we can find in Telefonica or Epsol, 
For example, uh, corporate social responsibility become particularly relevant and present in the context generated by the brands. Uh, all of them allocate time and efforts to generate contents linked, uh, linked with the spread of knowledge from different fields. Education is a valuable asset for society. That is why companies should manage it as uh, one of their intangible assets and promote it among their internal and external publics. And of course, uh, all of these uh, have a positive impact in society. Thank you so much.